33, Dawson Reber. And quarterback number one, Omari Smith. Starting offense for your Red Hawks. Center is 62, David Bright. The guards are 70, Levi Vicker. And 54, Al Schreiber. Tackles, 55, Julian Adams. And number 78, Javian Cabrera. Tight end is 82, Colin West. Wide receivers, 80, uh, number two, Ian Burt, and number 13, Ben Karen. Halfback, number four, Bray Arsenal. Fullback, 10, Caden James, and taking a snap tonight for the Red Hawks, number 11, Aiden Dredge. Hawks are coached by Mr. Scott Dredge. Just a reminder that the concession stand is open, and they appreciate your support. Looking for one more for our chain gang. One more person for the chain gang on the opposite side of the field, please. <laughs> Captains meet at midfield. For the Wildcats, number eight, Sean Kinney. 69, Anthony Cray. Number seven, Tyler Bartini. Red Hawk captains are number 10, Caden James, number 11, Aiden Dredge, and number 54, Alex Schreiber. Here come the Red Hawks. Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Oliver Cox, Tyler Wolkowitz, Tom Albert, all the rest of the FCAT crew. We're coming at you tonight from the Frontier Regional Track and Field. The Red Hawks are going up against the Lee Wildcats in their second to last football game yeah. of the regular season. It's a big game for the Hawks. Uh, they don't have the greatest record no. at the moment, no, but... No, no. If they win tonight and the right teams lose, that could be enough for them Lee to squeeze the into the top 16 the of the Division Eight power rankings, get Frontier themselves a shot the at the tournament. Uh, it would be a long shot, that's for sure. Yeah, but definitely. Any shot is Come better than story, the That's yeah. what it would be. Like Mighty Ducks. Yeah. I, it was a good movie. That was a good movie. I like that movie. The second one wasn't as good. But yeah, that's true. The, the sequel, sequels usually aren't The third as one was really good. bad. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, this is luckily there. I don't think we're gonna have a third of this one. Yeah, I I don't think so either. Um. So, as we were saying, this is uh this is a big game for the Red Hawks. Please rise if you're able, as we honor America um, by playing our national anthem. Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. We are getting into the action momentarily now. We have. Remarkably, a couple people coming into the stands yeah, right now. Yeah. Um, it's not the greatest weather uh, today. No, it's not. No, it's not the greatest weather. It could be better. The field's a little slippery, which is, you know, kind of concerning for three. Michael plays Lillian to pick off and like, who knows Lee? what could happen. Back to receive for the Red Hawks. Number two. Okay, so Number we got kickoff. Seems that oh Frontier is receiving the ball ball first. All right, we got an exciting game here. Yeah, it is going to be an exciting game. Uh, I think the Red Hawks are in. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on like the conferences and divisions because it's yeah. been bothering me that I can't like I don't know it and I can't yeah, talk about it. It's the first time you've ever done that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, here's the a great kick. Yeah, right to a man. That was trying to oh, see who that is. Yeah. Big oh, hit. Wow. He's brought down. That was around oh, there the goes 40. Javian. Red Hawks ball, first and 10 from the frontier. Yeah, there's Javian Cabrera coming out. And that was 40 uh, yard line. 53, Michael Lilly, who's the kicker. I saw him warming up uh, for some field goal kicks. Oh, the kicker got the tackle. Okay, okay. Oh, no, he. Uh, I was looking at who was actually kicking it because we, we were talking about the kickoffs uh, before okay, the game. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe the field's just wet. Maybe just a little, maybe it was a little bit of a whiff. Maybe I mean, the field is very wet. Yeah, we, very moist. Yeah, we we saw plenty of guys running routes. Yeah, more than a moist. And a couple slips. Yeah, a bit of quite slippage. a few. Um, 
Well, that's definitely going to be an impact on plenty of the passing play, just all the plays in general. So Red Hawks will start with the ball. Here's the handoff to Brady Arsenault, and he's oh, wow. brought Brady down. Arsenault's on a carry. He got some yards. Yeah. I'd say maybe four John or so. John Kinney on a stop for the Wildcats. Gain uh, of five. say five. Second and five. five. Yeah. It depends on where they were going to spawn him, I guess. Yeah. I'm so smart. Oh, See, yeah. See, because he's, like, on the line. Mm -hmm. And a good way to – tell especially like if it's halfway across the thing you look you look at the the chains on the far end yeah. of the field and they have the marker with the down uh -huh. number yeah. on it so uh you know so i know yeah i use that a lot with the Huzik because they had a really bad scoreboard that half of it was broken <laughs> oh, oh nice. so they didn't put up like the down number <coughs> sorry Ooh, a passing play? Oh. yeah he's gonna pitch it over to that's brady parada oh, wow. goes up oh. the sideline look at that did you see that yeah Drag that was number 14, 14 kyle, kyle kelly, kelly carry good for who got the tackle there on uh parada really nice slid field. yeah it did slid after it it i meant they it's kind of demeaning what First huh? frontier from the after Wildcat it the tackle it. no 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 but i i see you were talking it i said it too but like, I don't even know what I'm trying to I, say. I here. don't know what you're trying to say. At first, either. I thought I was me, refer I thought, At first, I thought you were referring to two people. No, like no, no, no. I was referring to the tackle. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Look at this. We got some receivers out. Dre's gonna hand it off to Bird. He takes it to the far side. Is he gonna be able to get yeah, much Bird, of anything? Wow. He took out his leg. Yeah. I mean, it's the right thing to do. John yeah. Kitty, <laughs> if you want a guy to stop running, you need to do something about his legs. Makes like it's just you know, common two, sense. And eight. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of the some of the infuriating plays that we've seen this year is where they just try and tackle someone and they bounce right off of their chest. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a pretty night, though. You it know? is, yeah. The rain is like gently falling. Yeah, it it was falling kind of hard before the game. Yeah, and it's it's eased up a bit. Like, oh, and after this play. Yeah. Hand off. Oh wow. James Just busted through. Yeah. Jaden James on a Red Hawk carry. Oh, we got a player down. I can't see who that is. Oh, is it I think I think it's JV oh Cabrera. Oh my god. JV recurring injury throughout the season and uh boy, that doesn't look good. Well, it's just it's just a cramp. He'll be fine. Yeah. But they're going to take a quick break on the field to check in on Cabrera and so will we you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. One Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, Cabrera was just helped off of the field. Uh, he's standing right now, but he is kind of limping around a little bit. We hope you see him yeah. later in the game. He's a big player, both physically and in terms of <laughs> his actual <laughs> impact on the game. All right, good, good clarifying. Well, he is a big guy. He's, he's one a, of the tallest guys on the field. He's a humongous guy. What is he, like 6'5"? Something like that. Oh, false start on someone. Him? It lo that looked like um, Lee there. Yeah, I couldn't really. See. I was paying attention to Cabrera, but it looks like I was like looking at the line. It was for sure Lee. I think I. S oh, they're gonna say on that on Whoa. Frontier. False start on the Red Hawks. Five yards. Okay, I guess I was wrong. So, so it's gonna be third and eight now. Oof, not good, not good at all. Yeah. Um, third and eight. Got the Ooh, one of those coaches. <laughs> is angry. Yeah, it's Wildcats coach. You can see him on the sideline, over there. Who is he? We we were introduced to him before the game. I think his, he said his name was Tom, maybe. Yes. Although I might just be making that up. All right. <laughs> so we got a couple of receivers out for Dredge. He's gonna hand it off to James, though. He goes right into the pile oh, wow. and he's brought down. Stop. <sighs> so they're gonna be. It's gonna be fourth and not good. Six Brandon maybe. Albert fourth and six maybe. Stop. Fourth and seven. Yeah, they're gonna say fourth, fourth and down, six. Fourth and six for the right. Red Hawks. I'm thinking this. Who's? I'm thinking this is a punting situation. I think honest. so too. You know, Eleven, I think. Aiden Dredge. Q, oh wait, what? Oh yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I misread my. I misread my roster. Yeah, I got oh, confused too for a second. For I guess they're they are for it. on fourth and six. They're doing their wing formation, so. Is that the only formation you know? Because I never see I much in other No, I, th it's just because they did it a lot last year, and it was a running joke between me and Tom. But Bert's going to get the handoff. He's working forward. Oh, oh he's going to get he's close. They might have caught him. Oh, I, think, I think they just Yeah, I him. think they did. He's about a yard short. Oof. Very short of the first time. Good effort, but 
didn't pay off. I I agree with you, though. I think that in that situation, it would have been smart to punt it. You get Colin West out there. He punts the ball. Because you're, you're on, like, the 45. You get, like, a 30-yard punt. You pin him down. Yeah. It's, like, good opportunity for your defense. Which is – and the defense has been pretty solid Yeah. for yeah. most of the year. I mean, they've had their off days, of course. But, like, mm -hmm. you know – Oh, I just noticed they have an eighth grader on their varsity. Here's the snap, handed off, and that's Alex Schreiber bringing down Dawson Raber. I just noticed, yeah, they have an Dawson eighth grader on varsity. On Do the they, really? Who is yeah, it? Yeah, Connor James, number nine. Number nine. Oh, yeah, that's Caden James' Alex little brother. Schreiber I thought you were talking about Lee. No, no, no. But, yeah. Five, wow. second and five. Yeah, he I must be good. <laughs> I think his role uh, consists a little bit more of a water and ball boy, mm -hmm. uh, but you know it's it's an important part of the team. Connor James, Number Smith, nine. taking the handoff, he kind of bobbles it a little bit, and he gets Mark pushed into the sideline. Oh yeah, I see him. He's right down there, number nine. He's not in a okay. Yeah, he's he's on he's on the ball in a towel means. right now, keeping it dry. Well yeah, forty-five why did yard they, line. Okay. Interesting choice. Yeah, I, it is confusing. I mean, it's interesting that they put him on the roster. Me. Yeah, because they don't put the other water boys on the roster. Well, I, I mean, I guess he's just a little bit more. He, he he does his job better, I guess. I guess maybe it's like an earned posi an honorary position. <laughs> maybe who knows? Who knows? <laughs> and I mean, like in comparison, like look at Lee on the sideline. Look at how huge their team is compared to Frontier. Yeah, it's crazy. Third and five for the Wildcats. Smith takes the snap, hands oh, it off, oh. and it's a first down for Dawson Reber. It's like Dawson Reber on a carry. Eddie Muskowski on a stop for the Hawks carry into yeah, Frontier territory for a while. That will be that'll be problem. Oh, oh, at the Frontier, who was it? I don't know. Someone broke line. through the line and they like they just like they missed the tackle. They got him, but oh. he just slipped right past him. Oh, yeah, and that, that actually reminds me of someone else that we needed to talk about, Wyatt Eads. Yes, yes, yes. He's out today. He you is. You can see him on the sideline. I don't know if our camera's going to pick him up, but he's on the sideline right now in his varsity jacket. Um, it, what did you say? What was the reason? Concussion. Yeah. I, we're not exactly sure why, but here's the handoff going to the far side. He's still up, and he's pushing for the first down. I think that was Maybe Mitch Kowski I saw if I – Caught his number right. That was knocked out of bounds. Game Shuck, Xavier Shuck. That's how they said it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, six yeah. yards. It'll be second and four for Sayak. the Wildcats. That's how I was gonna That's, say yeah, it, but yeah, you're just gonna you were just gonna look stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I probably do look stupid anyways. But yeah, you do. I'd, yeah. <laughs> you know, things will get better, buddy. No, they won't. <laughs> hey, <laughs> three receivers out to the near side, oh, one wow. to the far. Smith takes the snap, and he's going straight. Oh, my God, he's brought down right away. Pretty much just nothing from that. That was John. going to have to tell me. John really want to stop? That one. I didn't even hear what he said, you know. John, I think he was like Ray Law. He just Third down, third and three, four. John Ray Law. Yeah, I've seen him in the hallways a couple times. I just don't know how to pronounce his last name. Every time I've seen him in the hallway, because I've seen that spell, I'm like, how do you say his last name? Like, I... I, it's it's what I've always wondered it. Third and three, with five minutes left in the first quarter. Wildcats on the forty, and here's the snap to Smith. He'll hand it off, and Pareda overshoots him a little bit, and he'll get the first down. Jook on the carry. carry that was Shook again. First down. Jook. First Jouk? and ten, Lee. Is that how he, that's how he was saying. Jook. Jook. Lee. You know, he's, I've never seen that name, no, that last name no, before. And he's only a sophomore too. Yeah, they have a very young team. They do. They're, as we counted earlier, it was a sixteen upperclassmen yeah, 16, out of forty. Yeah, out of forty. What what is that? As like it's twenty-four underclassmen. That's I want to say so, like less than half of their team. Yeah, it is less than half their team. But what would that? Make it if it's talking about like percentages, yeah, probably like about close to like I want to say uh, four forty something, four out of twenty, 
Four to twenty. Oh wait, no, four out of ten. It was for like forty percent. Is yeah, upperclassmen. Like Wildcats come out of the huddle. It's first and ten for them. Here's the handoff. And wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Julian Adams caught Shook. Xavier Shook, Shook. on the carry. Shook. Shook. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, Lee is a huge team, man. Alex Schreiber on the stop. For and the they, they've had it. They've had a pretty good season so far. They've only gotten blown out of the water once, and that was against uh, Belchertown. They lost 34-6 to um, a couple weeks ago. But every team that they've played, it's been a close game either yeah. way. Their record is 3-3, three and three, I'm pretty sure. Um, here's the snap and the handoff by Smith. Raber goes down pretty quick, and it'll be third and eight. Oof. Well, wow. Ray Brown to carry. Oh, third and six. I said it a little Jacob too Bryce fast. Brace on the stop for the Hawks. Disc, disc, disc. Hey, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to me. Why not? You know, I I like to say that we have a positive environment here, but I would be Actually, lying. Yeah, yeah, and it's because of you. Thanks. Second I eight. really appreciate third it. Third down. Third and eight. I realized that I just kind of contradicted myself by saying that. Toss over to Reber, oh, so and he's got box. a big hole to go through. Schreiber is going to bring him down and slides an extra three yards Austin after Reber that. Yeah. Schreiber on the stop. Some Carry great good for another blocks. Wildcat first yeah. down. Yeah, I was just tapping your mic just a little bit, tapping the wire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I felt the need to do First that. Hey, lead no, I understand. It's like Gorilla Red Hawk, 16 yard line. Do they make that sound? I don't think so. I think they make it. I think they just kind of scream at you. <laughs> okay, that's probably what they. That's what the chimpanzees make. Anyway, there's a football game going on in front of us, folks. Oh my um, God, really? <laughs> yes, there's a couple receivers out for Smith. On either side, motion in the backfield. He's going to move to the far side, looking for someone to pass to, I'm pretty sure. Oh, And he's oh. going to get brought down for a loss. <laughs> the chain <laughs> game runs away. Yeah. Who was that? That was Colin West making a big play. Colin West on the stop for the Red Hawks. So it'll be second down and 10. Maybe a little more. Loss of two yards, second and yeah. 12 for the Red Hawks. Second and 12. Uh, the there you go. Hats. Not good. No, not good at all. They do have good field position overall, though. They so do, it's they not, do, they do. But not still. a terrible position for them. They have a long them, way to go. They only, only have three more attempts. Yeah. And right now they are at the 20. Third, not third, second and 13 from the 20. And if they get stopped here, I would say for them to kick a field goal. You have a good kicker. I saw him warming up. Oh, Raber, oh, another oh. hole for him. And whoa. Wow. Brought him down. That was Schreiber again. Schreiber is going crazy this game. Xavier Shook on a carry. Oh, no, that Schreiber was Shook. See, stop. the problem is D Raber is 33 and, and Shook four. is 13. 39. So I see the three mm. on, like, it was just the wrong angle of it. That's probably going to happen a lot. I'm just going to say that now. Dawson Reber. Yeah. And he's the one that has the, the little brother, J.D. Reber, number 20, right? Yeah. Or, or something, some kind of relation. Who knows? Okay, third and nine. Time's winding down in the first quarter, and it's still scoreless. Smith takes the snap, moves ooh, to the far ooh, side, ooh. and oh, West chasing wow. him down again. Wow. West and James get the sack. For loss by Colin West and Brady Pereira. Our defense is good. Yeah. This game. See, fourth and a lot. Yeah, fourth and long. 17. Long. Oh fourth my 17 God. For the Wildcats. <laughs> well, for the Wildcats, I'd say take a, take a chance with a field goal. <laughs> yeah. You don't have much. Really I mean, like, it's a tie really game. It's early in the game. Get some points where you can. That's don't go for it all and then the come out with nothing. With the score, the Lee so it's when we come back Hawks from Hawks. this break between the first Just and second reminder, quarters, it's going to be fourth and open. 17 for the Lee Wildcats. And they're on about the 30 now, maybe? Yeah, something about close that. To there. So, yeah, we'll be back in just a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. 
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, still here with Oliver Cox. We're coming into the second quarter right now. It's fourth and 17 from the 25. Oh, they're going for it. They are going for it. Not the call I would have made, but let's see no. what they can do. Passing play. Smith oh. under pressure. He's moving uh, out of the pocket to the far side. Javian Cabrera chasing him down, and he throws it into the oh bench. <laughs> well, bad. did not Woo. work out. Well, those are two th good things for the Red Hawks. Number one, you made a, you caused a turnover there. Mm -hmm. And number two, Javian Cabrera is back out on the field. Oh, love that, man. Oh, yeah. Told you it was just a cramp. Oh, yeah. I got worried for a, for a bit there because when he was walking over, his leg was kind of buckling in a way that didn't seem very good. But He's a, he's yeah. a very strong-willed individual. Yes, he certainly is. First and ten Red Hawks from the <laughs> Red Hawks 25. You can tell – um, that it's cold because there is steam th coming off of the huddle right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can see it when they all line up here. Like watch it's, the line. Yeah, it's a little. It's just yeah. a little chilly here little. in South Deerfield tonight. It's actually not too bad. Oh, change of formation. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Dredge is still ready to take the snap, and he's gonna hand it off, and stopped immediately. Whoa! What a play. That was Anthony Crea. Bray Arsenal on the carry. That was Arsenal who got wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on a play. No, he didn't. Second and ten. That's something else that we were talking about before the start of the game. Turnovers, specifically fumbling, fumbling the ball for the Red Hawks. Oh my God! Look at all that. Stuff. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> it's the steam so, someone get a of picture of this, please. Yeah. This, like that would be a cool photo mm -hmm. to get. Yeah, like you can see all the steam coming from their sweat, like their sweaty helmet. Yeah. Hawks line up. Dredge takes the snap, moves to the far side. He's going to look to pitch it over, but he'll throw it. Oh, Caught. wow. Ian Bird on the far side. Oh Bird God. makes a move oh to the middle, God. and Bird's moving farther. He's going to the opposite side of the oh field. Oh, my he's God. Moving. He, Ian Bird's going to go all the way. 15 10 and no, he's brought he down at the five-yard line. Oh, my God. Dragged down inside <laughs> oh the five-yard line. Ian Burt with another phenomenal play. He always has at least one. At <laughs> least. And you, got, you always got to hope he's oh. got one more in him. Oh, I'm also just noticing we actually have quite a few people tonight. Yeah, we do. There are none in the stands, no, but they're no. all over to our left. And they're standing. How far away is Lee? I have no idea. Because <laughs> we have a lot of Lee fans. Yeah, well. hold on. I'm standing up. I need, a, I need to be able to see a little bit better because the post is right in my way. So. Do that. I can just I'll Yeah, I just, just need to make sure that my wire doesn't get caught on something. And I also don't hit my head on this. Yeah, okay. The lineup. First and goal from the five. Hawks come out of the huddle. They got Karen and Bird as receivers to the near side of the field. Hand off to Caden James. James. James gets hit immediately and is brought down. Another play by Anthony Crea. Anthony Crea on the stop. Gain of maybe a yard, second and goal. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it's hard to tell. So especially from this perspective, because yeah. we were more at like the 40 than yeah, the yeah, 50. Yeah. So. Well, I'm at the 55. So. That's that's not. See, look, I'm at the. 55. No, but you see, but it only goes up to 50. And then if you go over one more over that way, that's 45. No, but I'm at the, it, okay. I'm at the 55. All right. <laughs> Karen on the far side, West on the near. That's James behind Dredge right now. Motion by Arsenault. And he'll hand it off Ooh. to James, and he's stopped again. His James face James is slammed into the ground. Maybe they should try something besides a running play. Stop. Throw this wild idea. But Throw the ball. No gain on the play. Yeah, if, if you move, if you move your arm in such a motion that the trajectory yeah, of the ball would go to a receiver, especially because <laughs> their receivers are really good. Yes, they have some incredibly talented receivers, and they just don't put them to use. They just don't. Yeah, and you know, come to think of it, the position that Kane James plays, labeled and written down, is wide receiver. So, you know, but they only have one receiver out, it seems, and it's Colin West on Wanna the near side of the field. Guess? Oh, it's they are going to throw it. To us. Arsenal, See? he catches it and they score. Touchdown. Like, they need to listen Red to us. They do. 
Listen, okay, when we, whenever we do volleyball, Aiden they shouldn't Brett listen to us to because Bray we Arsenal jinx the games. But and we don't know how volleyball works. That's true, but we know how football works for the most part. We do, we do. And uh, this is the first time in a while that I have seen the Red Hawks take a lead. <laughs> In a game, Number and it's making me feel pretty good. Brady right. Parada to attempt the point after. Well, I, you listen. The last game that I covered was out at in um, what was it? it? Was Cheshire, Cheshire, Mass, in, against Huzik. They kind of did. It was twenty-two to seven. It was a tough game, but Huzik's undefeated. Parada slips and falls, but he still gets the Parada's extra point. Is good. <laughs> well, that's something for a half. highlight reel the right there. The Red Hawks. He swung his leg cast, forward and his body just fell backwards as he did so. But he still got the kickoff and it went straight through the uprights. How about that? Well, now we'll just get to see our f defense yeah. be phenomenal again. Because they were great last drive. Well, see, they were great, but once they were under pressure. That's what I was noticing. Once they got kind of... Number pinned 10, down because they were they they got pushed into like the red zone. They were at um, Lee was at like the twenty or so, mm -hmm. and then they really started making some big plays. So, oh my God, look at look at Colin West. Back he was just moving pass. around, and there was just like just I don't, the I don't know. Jack numbers eighty two. Number thirty three Dawson Reber. It looks like eighty three right now. One down from Caden James, who has his hand up in the air. He's just, he's steaming. Is what <laughs> they it, all is are. It, yeah. Oof. And there's the ground ball by James and down on the far side. Lee recovers the kick. And see, That's there was a, a little bit of an inkling of maybe some hope for an onside recovery by the Red Hawks there. Lee. Just a little bit. But I'm pretty sure that was uh, Crea again, Anthony Crea, who First fell on top of the ball. At the Lee 37-yard line. Shook on the carry, gain of four yards, second and six. Schreiber with another tackle. That was against Shook. Yeah, 13. Shook yeah. on the carry. Shook. I think we're going back and forth. Alex Schreiber Shook. on the stop. Shook. 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 Third down. I know it's not that. First down. First and 10 for the Wildcats. From the Lee 47 yard line. Well, they're saying it's it's first down, but uh, there, we go. there we go. Now now they changed the number on the sideline. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I oh keep. I kind of lost the ball for a minute Ray there. Ray Is it a QB sneak? I think so. No, they handed it off to Raber. I thought I got oh injured. No, they're just kneeling. I was Alex Schreiber, you right? Genesis. I've known they they've the been Hawks. doing that during the huddles. It, it's an interesting formation they have with the huddles. Yeah. It, it's like they're taking a group photo. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, cause, and then see, out comes Smith, and he's going to, yeah. You get some second down, photo. second and five. Because usually it's just one big circle. Yeah. From the frontier 49-yard line. Here we go. Three receivers on the near side. Smith oh. takes it himself. Gets caught by James and not carry. brought down, but he's stopped cold. Caden James on a stop for Frontier. Before the, before the first down, I'd say maybe a yard or two short. I think that would be just a yard. Third down, it's third and one for Lee from the Hawk 45. Well, they're making him work for it, Oliver. Yeah, they are. Third and one.
Cabrera talking to the rest of the line. All right. And here come the Wildcats lining up. They got two receivers on the far side. One of them is Zach Nakotra. Handoff, and he gets the first down. That was Reber. Julian Adams yep. on the stop. Carry good for a Wildcat first down. Just powered through that line. Yeah. I see you. I've noticed. That's the second time. First and ten lead from the Red I don't know Hawk. what's going on there. I don't know if it's like a really kick quick handoff or like if it's a QB sneak. Cause like I, I think that it's it's a really quick handoff to Reber is what it is. And I think that it's working because they have one guy that just explodes against one of the defensive linemen for the Red Hawks and just pushes him out of the way really quickly and before he can recover, he just goes straight through the hole that they made. And here they go again with Reber. And there's that hole that I was talking about. He's brought yeah. down short of the first, but he's gonna get to about the 32, 31 maybe. Reber on a carry, tackled by a host of Red Hawks. Gain of six, second and, and they'll four. They'll switch out the balls. Yeah, there you go. That's what. That's why we have Connor James on the sideline. <laughs> Our Swaddling the ball up like it's a baby. Team ball dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on your resume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. Mm -hmm. I think they should hire us for they like, should. like NFL games. Oh, and that's going to be a timeout that's going to be taken. Timeout yeah. called by the Wildcats. Timeout taken by the Wildcats. They were trying to sub some people in, and it wasn't really working out. So uh, <clears throat> they're going to take a quick break on the field with just about four minutes left in this first half. Frontiers leading 7 to nothing. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontiers in the National Television. Second and four for the Wildcats. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're getting right back into the action. Here's the snap to Smith. He's moving to the outside. And here's a throw. Caught. And he's in for the touchdown. touchdown. No one was on. Where was this defender? Xavier Shook with another big play for the Wildcats. And you said it, Oliver. That no is, one was there. That is about the... That you don't open the moat. Like. You, know, you know what play that reminds me of? Hmm. The losing play of the East Hampton game. Lead touchdown. Yes, when he almost Smith exactly like that. Open. Yeah, on that side of the field. I guess maybe they. I don't know. Frontier. They seem to struggle against. Like their line doesn't, but their like back, their line like backs struggle against these passing plays. Yes, I definitely. Their agree. line is. They've got it. They've bursted through the line every single time. Oh yeah, high snap brought Ooh, down and it's no good. Kick no is good. no good. Extra point is no good, so the Red Hawks still are in the, in the lead by a point. The Red Hawks seven, the Lee Wildcats Well, six. you know, I thought that they were setting up for two points. Yeah. And that the Red Hawks are going to be down by one. But now they're up by one after that mixed field goal. And I think that you have to high snap to blame on that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to yeah. have to reach up and bring it all the way down. So there's four minutes left in the first half. Red Hawks need to move down the field quickly. Mm -hmm. if they want to try and get some kind of points. And I'd say for the Red Hawks, you're up by one. Take it out of field goal range for Lee. Yeah. You know, go down there, kick a, a field goal. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. that's what I would say for that. If you get if you get to, like, a third and long situation, or no, a fourth and long situation, and you're within field goal range, like, you know, in, like, the low 30s or less, something yeah. like that, kick a field goal. Yeah, try it. Yeah. Kick off you know? for the Wildcats. I don't know Ian how Burt, comfortable Pareto. they feel with that, but I don't Hawks. care. Yeah, I get that one hundred percent. Yeah, I just I just needed them. I just need to see them score some more points. Hold on. I need to figure out. Yeah, go ahead. Micah Miles, number seventy-five. There's another line drive, a kickoff, caught by Brady Pareda. He's on the near side of the field. <laughs> Pushing <laughs> his own <laughs> teammate. <laughs> that was Jackson Spears. He was pushing in front of him to make sure that he got the block off. And he'll get. He'll uh, run out of bounds. It was a good run back though. 75. 15, 20 yards or so, I'd say. I wish I had a pair of binoculars. From the Red Hawks, 40-yard line. Let me help you out. Yeah, that. 
Okay, so move your hands. I can't see I anything okay. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 75. Well, there's 77 on the near side. I can see him. I'm looking because I'm trying to yeah. figure out. The yeah, I don't. I don't think. He, I don't know if he's out there. I don't know because he's quite short. He is five very short. Three. We were talking about this. Yeah, five three. Is what we have a lot of more information on the Wildcats roster than we do on anything else. Oh, oh, fumble. the pitch is fumbled. Parade. No. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> oh no, they are marking it a fumble. That was an incomplete pass, is what they're saying. <sighs> so. Hey, not a fumble. No, no. And it's not by Brandon no, Arsenal. Yeah, either. no <laughs> loss of yards. That was, it was, Arsenal was the intended receiver, I guess, because they're calling it a pass. But he would, that wasn't as much Oof. his fault as that was just a good defensive play by the Wildcats. They got to dredge quickly and he had to pitch it off and it wasn't, it, it wasn't a good pitch and that just, you know. Not so much a bad offensive play as a good defensive play. Yeah. 353 left in the half. Second and 10 for the Hawks. Wing formation. Motion by Bird. Dredge takes the snap. He keeps himself trying to move to the outside. A couple of stiff arms and he gets nothing. Maybe even a loss of a yard, I'd say. Yeah. Oof. Unfortunate. Xavier Shook on the stop loss of a yard. Please. Third and eleven. <laughs> I'm begging you. They know it this. Just, the thing is they've got they <sighs> when, when how did we score our last touchdown? Remind right, remind me all of it. Yeah. It was See, it was it was a pass and it got them from this position to the five. What I notice about all these games is all these games we've lost and stuff, it's just because we've ran the ball again every and again. Time. Yeah, exactly. And the, and, the, and the opposing team just expects it, so they're able to completely lock up every hole. Yeah, and the other thing is... The, oh, guess what? Yeah, there you go again. Couple good blocks there, and Pareda is going to get close to the Brady first Pareda down. The Jacob Rice at the end of the play kind of pushing and shoving with Anthony Dawson Pareda, Reber. Stop. Got to be careful. We don't want to get a penalty right now, Fourth guys. Fourth down for Frontier. No. Fourth and three. Fourth and three for the, the Hawks Red at Hawk midfield. 47-yard line. At this point, it's 2.30 on the clock. What, what would you say the Hawks do? Do you think they should go for it, Oliver? No. No? No. Well, because what they're gonna do is if they went if they go for it, they're just gonna run the ball again. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's three yards, but still you don't know. You just lost a couple yards running the ball again and again. And here's West for the punt, and what he gets punt. it off. Colin West. What a punt! Is it gonna stay in bounds? It will. Are they gonna stop it? Oh my God! Look at this beautiful punt. Bird <laughs> downs it at the two, punt. probably. What Are you kidding me? Down Get this kid a college contract, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what a that punt. was gorgeous. Wildcat, two-yard line. Will they take over first and ten? Two-yard line. Oh, my God. That's that was actually crazy. Well, you did, Well, you know what I'm thinking about now? What are you thinking a about? A safety. That's what I'm thinking. Call too. me crazy. No, you're but not. You're actually completely smart. Because there's, there's two minutes on the clock. It's not mm -hmm. like they're going to run out the clock. No, especially because they're down. Especially, yeah, they're down, and they're also on their own two-yard line. So if there was ever a, a time for a big defensive play, now it is. Yeah, it is right now. Wildcats will hand it off, and Reber gets a couple yards, but short of the first. Austin rebound definitely. to carry, tackled by a host of Red Hawks. Gain of five, second and five. Clock's still going, and we're under two minutes now. <coughs> He gets a five-yard gain on that. And see, here's the other thing that I'm thinking about, yeah. right? Yeah. We were saying, I was just saying before, um, the defensive line, or the offensive line, they get so tired with all of these running plays because they have to create the holes mm -hmm. in the line. If it's a passing play, they just got to push the guys back. And not saying that that's less work, but like... It's a lot you, easier. It, it is. It is kind of easier. And you don't have to be thinking about it as much. And there's a stop. big stop. I'm trying to see who that is. Uh, that's Colin West, I'm pretty sure. On yep. carry. Colin West on a stop for the Red Hawks. So that's a loss of a couple. 
Loss of two, so it's third and seven on the four. <laughs> or maybe five, actually. Might be closer to the five. Yeah, they're on the five. It's hard to tell with the line sometimes, just because the, the, the yards, our perspective is not the greatest. No, we're quite far away. I wish the chain gang was on the other side. Yeah, I also wish that we were, like, up top. But mm, I like it down here. Eh, but I, I mean, don't have like, to stand all the time. Up. Well, that's true. I do. I do like standing though. I like. I like moving around. Well, my legs hurt. So well, no. that's fair. Third and seven. Thirty seconds left in the half. And Wildcats are on their own five. Smith, uh, Smith takes it himself. Tackled and you know, Red Hawks. although that might, I feel it. In some ways, I feel like that's kind of a smart play, Oliver. Yeah. You know, you keep it in bounds, you run the clock Fourth out. Down. I think I don't think that they're going to try and force another play. Yeah, they're taking their time. They're going to run the clock out, and they're going to play it the smart. the first half here at the Frontier Regional School. What's the score? The Frontier Red Hawks. Good seven, coaching the from the Wildcats, Wildcats getting themselves six. out of that tough situation. Red Hawks are up at the end of the first half. It's 7-6. to six. Yeah. What do you have to say, Oliver? This game is looking promising. Yeah, because our defense is doing quite well, and our offense is like is doing pretty good. I if we, I'm just saying, if we threw the ball, maybe every maybe once in a while, I mean, yeah, just a might, thought. might be a little crazy. Maybe we're heretics, <laughs> but like throwing the ball could be a good idea. It could be the right move. So we will be back in just a few minutes. Once again, the score is seven to six. Red Hawks on top by one, and. <laughs> I'm not sure who's getting the ball back at the start of the Lee second is. half. Lee is. All right, so Lee's going to start with the ball when we come back. And, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes. You're watching Get the right the 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 Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, Tyler Wolkowitz, all the rest of the FCAT crew. We're coming into the second half of the game. I can't move my chair. Um, and the Red Hawks are up seven to six right now. Um, it, I think it's gonna stay a close game. Yeah, I think it is too. For the but also yeah. you say um I'm still Mason Mason Smith. Yeah, like you're gonna change. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. Okay, like, it could happen. Like shed, or like what if what if what if something horrible happens to me and someone has to like imitate me so that the show goes on. Mm -hmm. You can do a good imitation of me, right? Yeah. My uh, name is Maiden Mint. Okay, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, this is the second game in a row where I have started the second half disappointedly hungry. Yeah, so we went to go get food and none yeah. of us had money. Yeah. And I they wouldn't that. give it to us for free. Even though we're up here... Working Work, our butts off. Yeah, just, we're we're sweating as much as the players on the field. Actually, yeah, actually, we, yeah. none of you see it, but like me and Oliver are actually like hitting new PRs on like the bench press right now, mm -hmm. at, like as we speak. And <sighs> we're doing our hardest. No, you can't let them hear it because that's the whole point. We're Sorry. we're we're working out, and you can't tell. But you know, I had to let out a little bit of masculinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I understand. It happens sometimes. Awesome. Um, so the rain's kind of picked up a little bit, or at least it looks like it has. <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to deal with that. Yeah, we're, we're safe inside. It's like, f I don't know if I'm going insane, but it looks like it's falling incredibly slowly. You might be. <laughs> you ain't seen this? Oh, you're li no, are you looking in the spotlights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking right in the middle. Look between the two of them in the darkness. Dude, yeah, like it's wow, falling fast crazy. over there and then it's really s That is so cool. That is. And I can't see it when I'm looking through my glasses, only when I'm not. Oh. Cuz the light reflects off my glasses That's and so I can't weird. see. Do you just see a rainbow? No. That like would be that really way. disappointing. It's that, not like really that pink Floyd right? thing. It's not yeah. like a person. <sighs> Speaking of pink Floyd, I'm supposed to go to a cover, cover a Pink Floyd cover band. You were talking to me about. I was, that. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's probably gonna be a little bit cooler though. I think I know. Yeah, I think I know. I'm just saying. I July. It's gonna be fun. Listen. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> if I can get the tickets, though. If, if you I'm, can I'm, get the tickets, I'm 90 percent sure I can get the tickets. Foo Fighters. Oh, what? <laughs> what are you yelling about? 
No one. I love you, Mr. Dodonna. <laughs> uh, what did he? You don't tell me later. Tell me later. No, it's it's just stuff that uh, we need for the show, and we do need it. It's just I don't want to think about it. Um, Fair enough. But Fair that's enough. not football. This is. For the oh, we're, wow. here, we're here for the football. So, Caden James is going to be there again Jack for uh, the kickoff. For the Wildcats. Let's see if he can get some air on it this time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go, and it's another ground ball scooped up by Javian Shuck. Dawson Reber, first and ten Wildcats. And here comes Javian Cabrera. Six-yard line. Javian Cabrera. Jogging out onto the field. There's Connor James on the near side of the field. He's he's got his little child in his arms, the football. <laughs> it really does look like a kid, <laughs> like like a little baby just <laughs> <laughs> Lee's starting with the ball and a handoff to Shuck. Takes it to the far side. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. At the Wildcat forty one yard line. Gain of four, second and six. It's going to be second and six for the Red Hawks. And it's just, it's so, like, rain is so peaceful, man. Yeah. It's like, like I'm just, I'm catching myself, like, looking at the rain, like, falling through the, the lights. And it's just really, it's really pretty. You're, you're ruining a beautiful moment in nature right now. I hope you realize that. Hand off again. This time it's going to Raider. Raber. I'm sorry. Raber on a carry. And someone was hopping around on the far side of the field. I think that was Eddie Michkowski. He's limping around a little bit, but he's still out on the field. So. Let's hope he's all right. Yeah. He's, he's walking. Yeah, he, he'll be fine. Sound like Mr. Donovan over there. Uh huh? Mr. Donovan, he was announcing that he did a senior night for boys soccer. Oh, and there you go. He's going to be stopped short. At least a Reaper yard, maybe two. Oof. I couldn't see who got the tackle Fourth there. Down, Fourth and one, one from the Wildcats from Ooh. the I'm, lead 44-yard go. line. Gotta go. You got to go for it. You do need to go for it. I mean, like. It's it's such a close game. It's gonna stay such a close game. I'm I know it is, and that like, because I I think I've only said this once before, but I feel like we need to say it more because th this is a big game for the Red Hawks. Yeah, yeah. They, like this is if they want to have any shot at getting into the uh, Western Mass tournament, they need to win this game. There's the handoff and a big hole for Raber. He's Boston not even Raider brought Terry's down. He's just stopped by most of the defense. Down. Yeah. They switch out the football again. First and ten Wildcats from the Red Hawk. So now 43 yard line. It's first and ten for the Wildcats at midfield. Correction, 47 yard line. Technically on the Red Hawk side of the field, but yeah. like Technically barely like, like by like three, three yards. Yard, yeah. We, we can just say in midfield, doesn't matter. Snap to Smith, tossed over. Shuck, big oh, hole, wow. and he's going. Aiden Dredge gonna have to stop him when he pushes him out of bounds. At maybe the 15, I'd say. Oh, flag! Flag on a play. Flag Zinni after the whistle. The carry for the Wildcats. What do you got? They're bringing the ball back now. Oh. Well, look at this. Is it going to be on Lee? Or maybe they're not bringing the ball back. He's the ref's just holding the ball and he ran back, but. 
I, it's definitely not pass interference, that's for sure. It was after the whistle. So I'd expect some like unsportsmanlike conduct. Maybe, maybe. Some something going on with like a late hit. Yeah. Um maybe so, some certain words exchanged that the ref didn't like. Possibly. So they're they're gonna Holding? Is that what that was? I'm not sure, but it's on Lee. Looks like maybe two penalties oh, on Lee. Oh, maybe a personal foul? Ooh, Ooh. yeah. Oh my god. Oh. So, oh, wow. oh my god, will you look at this? Yeah, it seemed like it was two flags. Oh my god, what kind of... Well, it's gonna... It's <laughs> personal <laughs> foul on a Wildcats. Yeah, personal yeah. 15 yard penalty. First and 25 oh. is what the Wildcats have Wait, right now. First and 25. It was a oh my God! Well, an incredible run by Xavier Shook is just completely, yeah. <laughs> it's just scratched off the record, and now, um, now they're back on their own 35. How unfortunate! This was worse field positioning than when they actually like started with the ball at the <laughs> beginning of their drive. They've had a net loss. <laughs> Someone skipping across the backfield. Oh, Smith takes wow. himself one on one against Pickert. And he's brought down, ooh. Amari Smith on a carry. Levi Pickard on a stop for the Red Hawks. That was Julian Adams. That was kind of a bit of a vicious tackle. I saw him kind of grab him around play. the neck and bring him down towards the end of it, but. Second down. It is second and 24. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got a yard on that. Um, and again, like we've, we've been talking about the running game with the Red Hawks, but now like, it's first and 25. Why are we running? What, yeah. yeah. What, what is the logic You're not, there? I, I, Have you given up on the drive? I, I, don't know. I 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 don't Ooh, get it. Really, yeah. High school football and their adversity. To uh, yeah, I really don't the, get it. Speak of the devil. There's a pass. Easy interception. And looking for a flag Smith pass. against Pareda, but there's none. Personally, Incomplete. that was me. I'm intercepting that all day. I don't think that Pareda saw it coming. He looked back and ended up running into the receiver, which I was, I'm was i pretty sure that was Nicotra. <laughs> third down, third and 24 for the Wildcats from the Lee 35-yard line. So, third and 24. I wonder what's going to happen. Let's hope they don't run the ball. I, listen, if they run the ball, I'm... <laughs> I'm going insane. I might, I might just have to take my headset off and scream a little bit that because this is just, it's just infuriating me because <laughs> I just don't understand it I don't understand the play calls it doesn't make sense to me oh and, and they they the run ball. it and they get six seven yards maybe out of 24 <laughs> that'll do you some good what what are you, what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, on a carry, by a like I, now they're in the situation where they have to Lee? punt. If they don't punt, that is just the like, that's the worst suicide. Decision. Yeah, it's the worst decision. Yeah, they're punting. Okay, good. There you go. And now, yeah, the rain is really 20? coming down. Now you can. You can see it. I feel like it's increased more. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And oh, look, you, look at that. The quarterback is the punter too. He you see this every now and then. Um, I think we saw it with Huzik, if I remember right. But Pickard almost blocks it, and it's a short punt. Going to be downed at the 33, I'd say. And there's something, there's something going on mm -hmm. with the kicker, I guess. Flag, late flag. I think personal foul, probably. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's going to be against the head coach, I'd say. He was yelling at the ref, and he was about like halfway out to the middle of the field. So 15 yards. Wow. This is, wow. Would you look at this? And now I think the Red Hawks are going to be taking a timeout. Um, the this is good. Coach for the Wildcats is still shouting at the ref as he walks away. And with the rain picking up, we have 6.30 left in the third quarter. Hawks still up by one. And tempers are running high. Yeah. So we'll be back in just a few moments to watch the Frontier Community Access Television. 
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. It is really starting to come down here. Yeah. Uh, and the Red Hawks have the ball at midfield. Best starting position they've seen in oh, a long wow. time. That's Pareda taking the ball and Pareda a flag thrown. Flag on the play. This is probably the third or fourth flag Blake in a Hoff row that we've seen. For the Wildcats. What do we got? I'd probably say some kind of holding holding, holding call holding on the Red Hawks. Red Hawks. Okay. Penalty. First down. Okay. And there's Lee getting pretty happy about that. Yeah, like they haven't had like already three personal fouls. Yeah. <laughs> like in a row, in too. In a row, yeah. That is quite a feat. It is. You yes. know, I got to hand it to the fans here. They're really sticking this game out. It's a close game. It's a tense game. But it's pouring. And they're still here. I'm seeing plenty of people without umbrellas, without raincoats, just here. Yeah. Watching the football game. And... First really and impressive. 20 for Frontier. So now <laughs> Frontier has a first and long situation. First and 20 uh, from I'm their own 40. It. Handoff. Nope. Dredge keeps it himself. He runs to oh, the far wow. side. Dredge gets a couple good blocks. And Dredge, and Dredge is carry. going to get probably nine, eight or nine on nice. that run. Okay. Good quarterback sneak. Yeah, it's a shame we run the ball every single time. Yeah. Okay, so first and 20. I don't know what it is. So, now, okay, so what were we, second and? Second now, second. holding on the Red Hawks. Oh, okay, so there's a flag. I didn't see that. Um, oh, no, because it was pink. Some of the refs have pink flags. Why? Instead of yellow. I don't know why. Um, I, yeah, I and thought that something just, like, chipped off of, like, someone's, like, helmet or something. I really didn't know, so. Hey, okay, so it's just a re repeat. So Yeah. So the, <laughs> we're having the exact same situation as before. First and 21 for the Red Hawks. Maybe, maybe they can switch it up. Maybe they can pass it this time. Maybe we can see them. Hey, so I don't think they're going to th I don't think that they are, but, you know, one can hope. One Oliver. can hope. One can hope. It's a slim hope, but, hey, yeah, you know. sometimes it's all you got. Sometimes. And, well, here we go. That's Bert and Karen out as receivers on the near side. And oh, Dredge keeps the it. Ball. Short throw. Karen oh. through his arms. And a Dredge pass intended for 13. Ben Karen incomplete. Jeez. <sighs> Second and 20. I mean, 21? Yeah, 21. 21. I don't even know what to say. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, well, I guess I do know what to say. Maybe this is why we don't pass. Yeah. Okay, so how fast No, they're, they're, they're standing up. They'll sit down in a moment. We just had an umbrella blocking our view for a moment there. Uh, Colin West coming off of the field. Oh, yeah, whoa, it's really starting to It rain. really is. I feel bad for everyone out there. I'm so glad that we're in here. Receivers out on either side. Four total for Dredge. He takes the snap. Short pass. Oh, a screen. Oh, my and God. And here's a good run. Pareda. He's getting some blocks, and he there gets the go. first down. Oh, there we go. That's Pareda. my boy, Pareda. Into well Brady Pareda making some Red big Hawk plays for the down. Hawks tonight. He's, he give, he's giving them the lead, actually, in this game with that extra point Pete. where he slipped and <laughs> fell and made it even more impressive that he made it. I Murphy better First put that on a highlight marks. reel because I want to I want to watch that back. From the Wildcat 37 yard line. What a beautiful screen. Yeah. That was a really that was a very well drawn up play by coach Dredge. Some we haven't really seen before. <laughs> wow, we're throwing shade at Dredge. Well, listen. I I meant specifically the play itself. We haven't seen that kind of a short quick pass to the side. And here's a there good run. Go. Arsenal gets tripped oh, up a little and he falls down. A slippery, slippery, tripped up by slippery Blake Hoff. Yeah, it looked like he kind of ran into some of his blockers. And yeah, it looked like he tried changing directions, but the field is just Game of seven, second It three. is, and, and it's. Three. I mean, like, you, you got to be thankful that it's n there's no thunder and lightning because they would call the game, mm -hmm. and that's what happened when we went out to Lunenburg and played against them the first time. Uh, they ended up postponing it to the next day because it was there was a thunderstorm. And How that, far was Lunenburg? It was a two-hour drive. <laughs> it was not fun. I did not have a good time out there. Um, two receivers out to the near side for Dredge and 
They're not going to call that a not false start? Not call that. I guess they didn't cross the line Barreto of scrimmage. That's Barreto. what the line judge is going to say anyways. Cub maybe a yard or so there from Pareda. It's going to be short, though, so it'll make Anthony it third Prey and two. On his top. Third down, third and two for the Hawks. They took out Brandon Arsenal for a single play, and now they're throwing him back in. Probably because they're going to hand it off to him, is yeah. what I'd say. He got third and two. They took out Pareda. Yeah. He's, he's your senior running back. You, <laughs> did you see that other sideline? I did not. What happened? Two of the guys just headbutting each other with their helmets. Nice. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. So, yeah, here they go with the wing formation again. Hand off James. Wow. Baden and James he definitely gets the first Red down. Hawk first down. Smoke through First that. and ten, Hawks. So, first and ten for the Red Hawks. They are at... I'd say the 25, I'm probably. Looking, I'm looking at the bench, and I'm seeing First a bunch of loose articles. From the Lee Wildcat, 25 yard line. Yikes. Ooh, yeah, that's not going to be fun for them after the game. No. Not. Probably a bunch of guys driving home tonight without any shirts on, just because they're so soaking wet. Yeah. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Red Hawks, first and 10 from the 25. Looks like they're going to run it here. Wildcats scrambling to get information on the line, and it'll be handoff, fake handoff. Oh, Dredge wow. takes it himself. Wow. He jumps over oh. someone, he falls down. Aiden Dredge on a carry. I'll blame that on the turf again. I will, yeah. I think that's that's definitely this, this slippy, slippery field. And I think that was Ravish over on the sideline who was jumping up Gain and down. Five, second and five. <laughs> Little, Upset, I guess. I mean, I would be too. I can't really. T I mean, I, is that Ravish right there? He's, he's, he's kind of built. The, like, he's the shorter he's, of the he's two. He's got the he's got the Ravish stance. Yeah, he does. Legs, Spread. shoulder width apart. Arms in he's, front. Yeah, he's got that police officer stance. Yeah, I'm ready for action, man. It's a good guy, I like Ravish. I want a Hawks don't vape shirt. Yeah, is it? Is a nice shirt. It's a nice shirt. I, whoever designed it did a good job. Hand off to James. Katie he gets James wrapped up pretty quick, but maybe gets a yard or two. It's like a couple. Yeah. Yeah, two yards. Third and three. Scrumptious? Third oh, yeah. Down, third we, and we always, every game that we do, we get Arizona tea. It's, yeah, it's good for the throw. Yeah, and it, it's a tradition at this point. If we <laughs> don't get we don't, it, it's, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, of course. You're throwing the game. Yeah. A single hat. I'm still the, sm <laughs> the, the steam. <laughs> it, there's just, like, I hope they're getting so some good ominous. pictures of it. It, yeah. it is ominous. Football can be, like, some of the linemen are scary, man. Javian? Yeah, oh, <laughs> Javian pitch? scares me sometimes. Oh, oh. Working oh. to the outside. Arsenal getting wrapped up Ray and Arsenal brought down hard. Carry. Yeah, looks like he slipped a couple times there. Yeah, trying to change the direction. Kelly quickly. on a stop. That was Kelly who brought him down at the end. Kind of. Pancaking him, mm -hmm. <laughs> almost just leaping up and <laughs> crushing him. No gain him. on the play, maybe loss a yard. So it's fourth and three. Fourth and long three yeah. is what they're saying. So now here's an interesting situation. You you're on like the twenty. You're on the nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can go for it, or you can try and kick a field goal. And evidently they're going to go for it, try and run it again. I don't doubt. <laughs> of course they are. This is why they. And see what's going to happen is the defense is going to know. Oh. oh. And oh, here's he's James. Gonna, I think he's going to get It's going to be close. Jaden James on a carry. They're going to say first job. down. Yeah. First right. down. Red Hawks drive it stays alive. Somehow. I don't understand how the defense did not stop that. First and 10. I think it might have had to do, They were trying to anticipate something. I saw who's 23. Jake Pignatelli. He was out on the near line. side. That's uh, the end of the, the third field. quarter I think here at the Frontier Regional uh, School a with pitch the score. out to the near the side and they were going to run Hawks over that way and he was going to be there to stop it. Six. But it was wrong call. Mm -hmm. One less body in the middle of the pack and maybe that could have changed things. But anyway, that's the end of the third quarter. When we come back, the Red Hawks in the red zone looking to score and increase their lead from one to maybe a little bit more than that. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're coming in late from some technical difficulties. Uh, looks like a handoff. I couldn't see who. Brady, There's too Brady much steam over there. Yeah. Jeez, man. Kyle Kelly on a stop. Let's see where they spot him. Second three, and seven. Second and seven. And we're coming in the fourth quarter right now. I think it's just got exponentially like chillier. I feel yeah, it has. I think there might be a slight breeze, that's why. Yeah. And the rain definitely doesn't help. No, no, no. Probably helps cooling probably helps cool the guys down, but. Yeah, for sure. I always hated playing in the rain. Dredge takes a snap and there's a flag on the near side of the field. Probably a false start or an offsides. Penalty flag on a play, offside on the Wildcats. Okay, nice. So an offside on the Wildcats, so. <laughs> Taking your standing position? Yeah. Well, it's it's at the point where like sometimes, like if they, if they get a gain in a certain area of the field, it's gonna be second right where the pole is. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't wanna, I don't want that to be a problem. So, second down and two, they're at maybe the <coughs> seven or eight yeah, right now. Yeah, something like that. Something yeah. Like that. So get that first down first, <laughs> and then you got a whole new set of downs. Dredge oh, keeps it wow. himself. He's oh, going to wow, the near side. Wow. Dredge it's, is wow. going to score. Wow, Red Hawks. Like, no 11, one was there. Aiden Dredge, no one to stop six. It. No one. <sighs> Frontier will attempt. Is that refreshing? The point after, it's number delicious. seven, Brady Pareda. Well, so we've got a nice good chunk. We've got, they would need, they just need a, a touchdown or a two-point convert. If we make this kick, yes. I think that I well, we j first things first. We gotta hope that Pareda doesn't slip again, or maybe maybe that he does. Maybe that's his good luck charm, something like that. Here's the snap, the kick. It's good. It's Red good. They Red almost Red blocked it. They got good. pretty close. Yeah. Ten forty-one remaining here in the fourth quarter. The Red Hawks fourteen, the Wildcats six. Oliver, do you want an extra hamburger? I would love an extra hamburger. Oh yeah. Ketchup would be fantastic. Thank you, Miss Chapley. Uh, just no cheese. That's it. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we, we we didn't have any money, but <laughs> we're getting our food. Oh yeah, up top. Ooh, too slow. I can't believe you. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Look at these girls' hairs in front of us. Oh my god, it's so good. Looks like wet, a bunch of wet cat. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were going to say like spaghetti or something. I do, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what a studio's got. Where's studio's got? Kane and James to kick off for the Hawks. There we go. Jack All right, Pignatelli. so an eight point lead they for the Hawks. Shook back for the this Wildcats. is. Good. Yeah. There's, good. there's still about, left. yeah, 10, 11 minutes left in the game. And here's Caden James for the kickoff. Oh. Onside kick. Oh, oh. They might have touched Ooh. it. I think that they came up with it regardless, but that was pretty close. That was Kick pretty. recovered at the Wildcat 47-yard line where Lee takes over first and 10. Reber on a carry. Alex Schreiber on a stop for the Hawks. Gain of four, second and six. From the Hawk, 49 yard line. Second and six from midfield. Red Hawks defense getting pretty hyped up out there. A stop here would be huge. 
It would. Here's the handoff. Shook far side, and he gets the first down, Shook leaning into Burton the hit Burton against Burt. He goes down well, at about down. the 41, I'd say. Yeah. First and 10 lead from See, every the once in a while I get a good, line. like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while I get a, there's like an opening and everyone running around and I can like see where the tackle yeah. happens. Most of the time that's not the case, but. I'm waiting for this burger. <laughs> I'm trying to scrounge down. <laughs> I demolished that donut and now I need something more. I ate both of the donuts within five minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was hungry. Well, I, I had my whole uh, burrito from um, Bueno today. Uh, I mean, it's what I usually get, but I, I love it. every single time. Yeah. I got a different burrito last time. Oh, wow. What a stop. Carry. That was a big stop, yeah. That was Raider. No good. Anything, a lot a loss of yards. Schreiber on a stop. No Schreiber game. really stepping Second up. Second and 10. With... Uh, in light of the absence of yeah. Wyatt Eads. And this is, I was talking to um, Cabrera, Javian Cabrera, during uh, Pace yeah. um, a couple days ago because uh, we have the same place, Mr. M Mr. Murphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Kevin Murphy. Um, he uh, was talking about, like, you know, it's going to be really tough for the Red Hawks next year. That was a nice hit Brady by Bereda bringing down. Yeah, they're going to lose a lot of people there. Actually. Yeah. They I mean, two, you think about it, and eight. Aiden Dredge, Ian Burt, Alex Schreiber, Wyatt Eads. Then there's probably Eddie. plenty There's probably plenty more that I can't think oh, of right sure. now off the like, top of my head. But, lose. yeah. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. But, I mean, we've still got... Oh, and Bra Brayden Arsenal, too. Brayden he's, Arsenal, he's a senior yeah. as well. Like, there's there's so many big who playmakers. Be, okay, so who would be our QB, then? Would probably. I mean, I've seen, they, I've seen them put yeah, Garrett Dredge in there. Garrett Dredge, yeah. Here's the handoff to Shook. He goes Shook up the middle and is brought down. Schreiber again. Wow. Alex Schreiber on another stop for the Red Hawks. He's having quite a game. We're now under eight minutes left in the game. Hawks still with an eight point lead. Fourth down, fourth now and five. It's fourth and five okay. for the Wildcats. Big down here. Do we think they go for it? I think that they have to. You're running low on time. You're down by a score. Yeah, you got to yeah, keep pushing. Go and if they lose the ball here, it's not like phenomenal field position for the Red Hawks. Cool. So I think it's worth the risk. Here's some motion. Slow jog by Nakotra. And I think they, they were just trying to timeout draw a penalty. Timeout called by the Wildcats. Yeah. They'll call a timeout. Maybe it's consider a punt who knows maybe we'll see what they do we'll come back from a short break 7.22 on the clock the red hawks still up by eight and watching frontier the contest tell fourth and five wildcats from the red hawk 35 yard line hello and welcome back to frontier community access television we got our hamburgers that's the most important thing also it's fourth and five for the yeah. wildcats <laughs> Oh, wow. Smith keeps the wow. ball himself, and he's brought down wow. by the jersey. Caden James with a big stop 10, for the Red Caden Hawks. Caden James, first and ten, Red Hawks. Wildcats turn the ball over, and the Red Hawks have the ball on their own 40 with 7.16 on the clock. First and ten frontier Woo. from the frontier 40-yard line. 40-yard line is not bad. No, not at all. I am demolishing this bird. <laughs> I think that part of this experience, oh, like being an announcer and like a commentator for FCAP, is like experiencing the food. You know? Yeah, we got that free ice cream. Yeah, it's it's a yeah. It's a whole different kind of cuisine or something. Oh. Here's the snap, handoff. Oh, and a wow. nice, <laughs> nice hit. Kyle by Kelly Arsenal on the the Wildcats. <laughs> just <laughs> put his Man shoulder down. In over. Second and nine. My God. Not many, not much gain, but still. No. And you know what's another good thing? 
that we haven't seen, Arsenal fumble the ball. Yeah. That was a concern from several people that I talked to about the game before uh, we got here today. And it hasn't happened yet. Granted, there's still seven minutes left in the game. But, you know, he's been having a great game so far. And just, that was, I mean, just great hit right there on the field. Here's the handoff to Burt. Burt oh, gets a wow. couple of blocks, and there he's brought to, oh, no, that was Pareda. That was my fault. Tisk. Tisk. Hey. Tisk. I, you know, I really don't appreciate it at all. At Tom all. Lucy you know, on a stop. Gain of five, Connor James coming out four. again to switch out the balls. He's doing a phenomenal job. <clears throat> Got some fans. Evidently, you could hear there's someone shouting his name. Mm -hmm. So it's third and four for the Hawks on their own 46. If you, if you get stopped here, I say you punt it. Don't oh, take the chance. Sure, sure. No, we, we got a one score lead. Take what you can have. Receivers out for Dredge. Handoff. Wow. What a move. Nice move. Pareda. Look at oh, oh my God. God. What a move. Pareda on a carry. <laughs> That's Tanner going on. on a stop. That was Tanner one of the most amazing down. runs I've seen all year. Not for what the a move. phenomenal gain, but hey, a what a spin a move, down. man. He put the moves on that. That was, oh first my God. From the Wildcat God. 49 yard line. Reminds me of that one, this one time when I played football. <laughs> I, was a, I was a cornerback. Your heyday? My heyday, yeah. Mm -hmm. 11 years old. <laughs> I did a spin move on the defender. Oh, Boom. Yeah. Sacked. Or no, sorry, no, I just tackled the running back in the backfield. Mm. I was, oh, I was good. <laughs> Dredge hands it off. Pareda breaks the tackle. He's still going. Randy Pareda on a carry. Pareda says, play it. Kyle play Kelly on well, you know, I'll say something. Four, we were talking about Red Hawks six. losing seniors at the end of this year. I don't think the they got to worry about their running back line. anymore. No. Pareda still got a good couple of years with him. Oh, yeah. And he's only going to get better. Yeah, and Arsenal has had a phenomenal game, a great season as well. Um, but, you know. Pareda. He's, Pareda's going to step right into that role and do a great job. I have no doubt about that. Timeout is going to be taken by, by Lee. The Wildcats. And I... Oh, what? I, so another what whistle on the field. I really don't know what's going on. Um, I? I guess not a time. I was just going to bring us into a break, but um, it seems like we got both the teams on the field pretty much ready to go. Um, it. Uh, what? I. You know, I really don't know what happened. Um, okay, so the it's going on. <laughs> It's second and six. Second and six for the from the Red Hawks. Wildcats 45. The Wildcat 45. Receivers. receivers out for Dredge. Two men behind him for the rush. Could this be a run? Let's. <laughs> it's gonna be a run. Hand it off. Right. I think that's Pareda. Pareda yeah. gets oh some blocks. God. Pareda down the field. He goes to the far oh side. My God. Brady Pareda oh. still going. He's at the ten, and he's gonna get pushed wow. out of bounds Brady at about Pareda the five. The for the Red Hawks. Woo. Wow. He is having a great. Oh wow, the range really is starting yeah. to pick up. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to stand up. Jack Pignatelli I'm on a so stop. happy they put us in here. Oh. oh yeah. First and goal, Frontier. First and goal from the Wildcat nine yard line. So here's the first and 10 for the Hawks. Probably first and goal, I'd say. Another spin move from Pareda, and he Brady gets a couple Pareda yards. There is a flag on the play. Ooh. What do we got? No? Oh, are they? What are they saying now? Wow, the rain's really a picking lot, up. Yeah. Oh, plenty. my God. Oh, my. We're going to have to run back to this school. Yeah. 
Holding on the Red Hawks, 10 yard oh, penalty. That's a shame. Holding. Tyler just threw his tinfoil at me. How? I just, a hand pops Three down from up top. And <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't think he was aiming at me, but I need to stand up too. It gets a movement in my yeah. legs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna eat some more of this, this cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. I can't eat cheese. First and goal from the Wildcats, 16 yard line. I'm sorry for you. Actually, it's kind of overrated to be honest. I think you're just trying to make yourself feel better. <laughs> yeah. I, I respect it though. You do. I, I do like. I do like me some good. Oh, timeout. Time time okay. Uh, we just had a. Lee. <laughs> Kind of All right, Lee takes another timeout. I wonder how many they have left. Probably none, I'd say. Uh, I think that they've taken all that they have. But mm -hmm. um, when we come back, Red Hawks have a first and 16 situation, according to the scoreboard, although it seems a little odd. But three minutes on the clock. They're looking to score again. Hopefully, yeah. Really big yeah. We'll be right back to watch the Frontier Community Access Network. 16, first and Hello and welcome back to Frontier 16. Community Access Television. It is first and 16 for the Red Hawks. They are on, I'd say maybe the 15, 16, something like that. Yeah, they're on the 16. So here's the handoff. I can't really see who that is, but he's pushing forward. Brady Parada on the carry. Caden James, correction, Caden James on the carry. Caden James. Right. Timeout Lee. Another another one? Well, you know, okay. I, I, you know, Oliver, I really, I really don't know what's back for what's a single, happening. back for a single play. Yeah, one play, and then we go back to a timeout. This is really something, and I mean, like, you got to wonder about uh, what Lee's strategy yeah. is with this, because I mean, like, yeah, you have three minutes on the clock. I know they're trying to conserve time, but like, you only have so many timeouts. Yeah, and you need to conserve them a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, I guess that the way they're looking at it is this is Frontier's last uh, possession of the ball, probably, because they're probably, yeah, likely. most likely, um, unless we see another great uh, defensive play from the Hawks, yeah. and then um, they they once they have like possession of the ball, they can control whether or not the clock keeps running or if it stops by like you know running out of bounds and that sort of thing yeah um hey we didn't even so need to take a break yeah i, did, I didn't we feel like bringing it to a break just again yapping yeah that's what i that's what i do i, I yeah that's our so whole job second down second and goal second and goal for the red hawks from the 16 two receivers out to the near side handoff to Pareda. he goes to the near side can't get any blocks and he's brought down Brady after Parade quite a carry. struggle. Yeah. Zach Nakotra on the stop for That was Nakotra who brought him down. Me. Clock is still running and evidently the Wildcats have run out of timeouts maybe, to spend. Maybe, just possibly, if they didn't use them all within the yeah. play of each other. <laughs> It's like they just decided, you know what? I don't need these. Let's get rid of them right Third now. And goal. They're annoying me. <laughs> get them out of here. I don't need them. Yeah. We're we're better than that. All right. Third and goal. 16 to go. Receivers out to the far side for Dredge. Two men behind him. I think that's James and Pareda. Oh. And Pareda's going to have to fall on top of the ball after a low snap. Gets Number underneath the hands of Dredge. Brady Pareda. So it's fourth and 16. Fourth down I say you take Hawks. a field goal attempt oh, right here. Oh, for sure, yeah. You're on the... I mean, because if you take a field... Actually, no, it's fourth and 25 because they had a huge loss just I there. believe in Brady. Fourth and goal yeah. from the... I do too. Lee 24-yard so line. Well, that would be what? A 40-yard field goal? That would be... I mean, if they do it the same way that they do in the NFL, because I know it's like fifteen. You had you had ten yards for the fifteen. Yeah, you fifteen. You had fifteen, 15 yards, yards from yeah. the for the end zone. Mm -hmm. So it'd be yeah, forty yards. But they're gonna try and go for it. Oh, Fourth wow. and twenty-five. They, they gotta get be, to the end zone. They better be passing here. Yeah. And, uh, Fake the handoff. Dredge keeps it. He moves to the far side, looking for someone to pass to. It's gonna be blocked. short and blocked. So Hawks turn it over. Um, Pass incomplete. On Wild a disappointing end to yeah. what seemed like a promising drive. Uh, but there's only a minute left. 
uh, the Wildcats are going to get it at on their own 25. They have 75 yards yeah. to go. In it's no, it's not looking good. It's First not good Wildcats positioning for them, but it's yard line. <sighs> It's it's way it's, it's way too it's way too reminiscent of East Hampton for it's me. It's feasible. It's fe it's like well well no the thing is they would have to make a touchdown and then go for the two point and make that and only then would it go into overtime if they even do overtime. I, 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 don't, I don't even know, know if they do. I don't do. know if they do overtime. Yeah, if they do like college rules or yeah. NFL or what? Yeah. yeah, I really don't know. College college overtime is confusing. It looks yeah. like they're going for a Hail Mary here, possibly. <laughs> Just about the only thing you can do. So here's Smith with the ball after the uh -huh. snap. Blitz coming for him, and it's caught by one of his linemen, it looks like. No, that's going to be Reber. Reber going up to oh midfield. God. Please tackle him. Thank you. And he's pushed Flag out of bounds. Flag is thrown Flag right play. after he's pushed out. What do we think? What do we got? What do we got, refs? And if this is on the Red Hawks, I'm going to lose my mind. I am going to as well. Dredge is on the field. Well, that was a 25-yard run Personal foul on by Rebel. Personal ah. foul on the Red Hawks. Are you kidding me? 15-yard penalty. <sighs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Look at us. You're holding them First for the whole game. You have the lead the for the whole -yard line. game, Oliver. That is, that was. Like, this is probably, like, this is. One of, if not the first game that the Red Hawks have held the lead for the entirety of the game, and now in under a minute left, you let them get from the 25 that is a, to the, the 35. 35. That is a 40-yard game in one play. In one play, and the rain is on. The rain is angry. High snap. Smith moving to the near side, looking for someone to pass to. He's going to have to do a short pitch, and it's caught by pass complete to number Pignatelli. Jack Pignatelli. Clock's still running because he didn't get out of bounds. 40 seconds Gain now. Four, second they got to hurry up to get the snap off. Yeah. And Smith is going to spike it. Clock stops at 32 Clock. seconds. <sighs> Third and Third 10. And four for the Wildcats. Third and four. The scoreboard's off. It's third and four. Third and four. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You see, so you see how it's like yeah, yeah, halfway yeah. across the chain? I'm sorry. Game. I didn't notice that. Tensions are high. <sighs> well. And my anger is higher. This is, no, because it's the ex it's virtually the same field positioning as the East Hampton game. Yes. We're under 30 seconds now. Well, actually 32. So. Well, but practically. Practically, okay. The, 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 you can hear the crowd Red is Hawks angry. Red Hawks scrambling to set up their secondary. All receivers out for Smith. He moves oh, to the far side. Get him, get him, William get him. William Adams get him, running him, after him. Get him. He's going to get close, and it's pitched out of bounds. There we go. 24 Eight seconds complete. on the clock. Fourth and fourth four. Down, fourth and four for the Wildcats. Oh, my God. And right. once again, it's coming down to a fourth down I need to stand up. from the 30 for the Red Hawks. I'm standing. Get, get your chair out of the way. I'm, I am getting my chair out of the way. This is <sighs> the rain is only fourth and four. Because from the I mean, here's the thing: line. if they can score a touchdown, I think that they'll be able to score the two-point conversion because they have strong running backs that have made big plays mm -hmm. in the past. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to think about that right now. No. I just want to think about. I'm gonna keep my eyes. Yep focused on this game. Here we go. All receivers out this for Amari Smith. This could be the final play. Fourth and four from the 30. 24 seconds on the clock. They're down by eight. Here's the snap. He's looking for a pass. There it is. Middle it's of the field. It's incomplete. It's incomplete. For There's the game. Sean Kinney broken up by Ian Burt. Ian Burt Red breaks up the pass. First and ten. And all the Red Hawks have to do is wind down the clock. Should not be too difficult. <laughs> Let's hope, man. Let's hope. 19 seconds left, and Red Hawks looking at quite a victory right now. And line knee. it up. Take a knee. Now, wait out the clock. Well. Ref's talking with Jacob Rice, just giving him a little word there, I guess. 
And that's, that's going to be the, the game. game. Here at the Frontier, Frontier score. Red Hawks the the Frontier pull off Red the victory 14 to 6. The Lee Wildcats. That was a close one. The that was way Hawks too close, and I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. No, I didn't. I don't know. The Red Hawks win, and now they have, a, they have a three and four record going into their last game against Belchertown. So, just for a little bit of context, looking forward, Belchertown beat Lee, this team right here, thirty-four to six, earlier in the season, just a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and Frontier just beat this team, who lost to Belchertown, fourteen to six. So, so it'll definitely be an underdog story. It if will. It does happen. Yeah. And we don't know. Hey. We're going to see it happen. We are. It's a home game next Friday. Um, be there or be square. Oh, yeah. As I say. And hopefully we have some better weather conditions than today. Maybe. <laughs> that's that's what I'm going to say about that. So hey, hey. No fumble hey, from Brady Arsenal. That's true. We closed out the game with a victory, and there's no fumble from Arsenal. So plenty of victories for the Red Hawks. Their record goes to 3-4. and four. And now Lee has an, ad an identical record, three and four. So Red Hawks pull off the win, 14 to six, in a game that ended a little bit too close to comfort and for for my for me, yeah, at yeah. least. And we are going to be running back to the yes, show. we are. Hopefully, we don't slip and fall. So Ivan Mason Smith, Oliver Cox, Tom Alver, Tyler Wolkowitz, all the rest of the F guy crew. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. We hope you have a wonderful day. You've been watching Frontier Texas Television. Adios.